Greetings, adventurers, and welcome back to my Skyrim modding journey. Uh, today we are going to be installing a series of mods that improve dragon aspect and give us the ability to fly while uh, using the third word of dragon aspect. And we're combining a, a couple mods. I guess I'll go through them real quick. Unique dragon aspect gives you the ability to just change the color between you and Maroc, and you get to... Uh, pick which ones you want. Um, that one is mine, because it's <laughs> blue-green. That's the best one, obviously. And by... Yeah, he'll, he'll have a different color. Edmund's more draconic aspect, become the dragonborn. This is the main thing that is giving us the wings when we use the shout. And I just am down here to remind me of the steps. Uh, dragon aspect overhaul. I think this one is just about changing the usage stat, so it's not a one-a-day thing. And some other little changes here. Uh, this is the, it's a flying rework thing that works on top of uh, flying mod beta. And both of those, we'll go through it all, but there's like both two files on each of those pages. And then more draconic aspect overhaul. This is what is combining Edmund's draconic aspect with more draconic aspect or whichever one of those. And yeah, I believe with the flying thing installed, if I want, I can also make it so that the uh, vampire lord form could fly. And I see there's blood wings for vampires. For master vampires and that's kind of what i was hoping is that would be a, a late progression thing for vampires all right so these are mods i installed off camera uh real quick um if you saw my video about a year in white run in 40 minutes uh then you'll have an idea of what i did here but it was just improving all the the weather stuff and adding seasons to the to skyrim so that it snows when it's winter you know in most of skyrim that kind of thing so we've got improved rain and Fog for Cathedral Weathers, True Storms, Cathedral Weathers, Diverse Seasons, uh, Touring Carriages. This gives you the ability to actually ride the carriages and they, you know, take you wherever you're going in real time. You can ask them to go faster uh, and you can, like, while you're riding, just essentially complete the fast travel, make it go where you're going. Uh, it, it was a little buggy, <laughs> even just off the first time. It has all these uh, special instructions about making sure you save like before and afterwards. So it's more just going to be for, for storytelling and stuff. Uh, I'm probably, I haven't installed it yet, but I'm probably still going to have just normal improved carriages and fast travel, whatever it's called. Time flies. Oh yeah, this makes uh, more time pass when you're doing certain things. There are several mods that essentially help with this, but I, cause I want more time to pass in game in general, especially since I plan on having like uh, so many different characters with Proteus and I realized if, say, for instance, one of my early characters is who ends up becoming the uh, the Archmage of Winterhold, then maybe by the time I make my Dragonborn character, it will have been, you know, years, and my Archmage will be noticeably older, or something like that. So to help with that, I have that mod. Oh, uh, this just <laughs> enables you to stay at uh, a place to set your time uh, up to seven days, and you can go to them, like, while you're still in the middle of your booking and extend your stay, which is cool. As somebody who watches dogs for a living, this was very immersive. Dynamic weight. This is cool. You, it just waits in real time, and it's a lot faster. That's how I did that year in White Run video, and that was real time. Uh, setting it to the most that it recommends you set it to, I was able to pass a year by in 40 minutes, uh, which is the fastest way to pass large amounts of time as far as I know. I also got this uh, no, no Boring Sleep Weight menu. You can see here it just... Uh, is a little bit better and with this you can go up to 31 days and it is like a uh oh, allowing you to wait up to 744 days why did i think oh this is just saying 31 days is equivalent to 12 minutes in real time i see I'm telling you yeah because this does take longer um but it's like the normal way because i'm not sure it doesn't say there's any I already closed it it doesn't say there's any issues with dynamic weight uh 2.0 with like bugs or anything, but like the whole time you're waiting, if you watch my white run video, you know, the NPCs are just going back and forth because time is passing so quickly. They're just constantly going home and then going back to their, their spot during the day or whatever. So that's the kind of thing that seems like it could possibly cause some kind of bug if you use it a lot or use it under different circumstances. And so I'm probably just going to use it for time if our, for video purposes. Because what's cool is you can do it in real time while you're like moving around, like you're playing the normal game and time is just flying by. And I used it with the the carriage, the touring carriage thing too. Uh, I just felt like that'd be a cool effect for videos. But 
if I want to pass large amounts of time, I'm probably going to use this instead because it seems to use the normal weight mechanic. Because when you're going through this, people are you know moving in a in a chopped fashion, which I don't know if it matters, but I'm just going to play it safe. Uh, dynamic random spell idols. I literally just got this to have something for my in for my character to do in that white room video, but it is very cool and uh, I like it a lot. And yeah, it even adds all these uh, like different ways to equip and unequip the the spells. So that's all nice. And then I got this contextual crosshair thing again, mostly for that video. But I mean, I I want to remove the crosshair altogether because I'm using true directional movement for targeting. But uh, smooth cam and TDM and true HUD, uh, none of them have a way to remove the crosshair for when you have magic and ranged equip. Uh, this just removes it when you're not using uh, spells that require targeting, which was better and allowed me to use that animation thing without having uh, the spell animations without having the crosshair up. I just use spells that didn't require targeting. But I still need to find a way to remove them all together. And I might be able to do it through this, but I don't think, yeah, nobody's responded to my question about how to just make the opacity, make the uh, the crosshairs go away in the INI settings. So that's what I installed off camera. All right, let's get started with a unique, unique dragon aspect here. It says down here that if you want to use more draconic aspect, uh, the main flying one, to use the simple version in the installer, the simple version colors i mean i want I mean, if i'm choosing one for him and mine's gonna look different then i guess i wouldn't mind him having the vanilla one although it being multiple colors is kind of not distinct i guess i mean the green kind of matches his character so yeah let's give that a shot we'll give Maroc the uh the venom one and we'll see if i can choose a different one with the more dragon aspect one. Oh, okay i have this all backwards so i need to do the f flying mod beta first and then this is the flying mod rework even though it says animated wings ultimate okay so just the flying mod rework from that page so this and its update flying mod rework and then this mod all right this is the one i i need to run nexus for eventually and then the update all right got the update <clears throat> and then the flying mod rework load those after all right so we've done all those that in its overhaul the rework and now this oh and here's the color for more draconic aspect that's cool if select the more the original in the main installer okay we have xp32 installed so we don't need that all right so boy did a lot happen as you can see here there was a section of footage yesterday that uh i did not record the audio on i'm pretty sure i just muted my microphone because the dogs were making some noise and i forgot to unmute it but as you'll be able to see in this video uh, I had some issues earlier. I, I installed some uh, snow mods to try to see if it would be like easy for me to like turn them on and off for me to utilize like a winter effect. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> towards the end of the story, I find out that there's other mods that I just couldn't find before for some reason that uh, do exactly what I wanted, which was for snow to accumulate on the ground in traditionally in vanilla non snowy places like White Run and Falkry uh, while it's snowing during the the seasons that are provided by uh, cathedral seasons but i didn't know that yet so what i initially tried to do was to install 2019 winter wonderland overhaul i think it's called and then you know it had some requirements and recommendations like better dynamic snow but for some reason as you'll be able to see in this video after i uninstalled those with vortex because i installed them with vortex for some reason they something left behind you know artifacts or whatever in the the folders that made that messed up <laughs> the uh, terrain and everything. And uh, I couldn't figure out how to fix it. So I ended up just uh, reinstalling Skyrim. And I had looked up instructions to make sure I could do that without messing up all my mod stuff. What I didn't consider was like the instances where I have like manually edi edited files, like with certain animations. And there are certain mods that say that, you know, like this part of the mod, you actually need to manually install and, you know, drag it either into your mod manager or like, you know, extract it into the data folder or something like that, or into the game folder. There's all kinds of examples. But anyways, um, so I ended up reinstalling the game that did fix the landscape mod problem. Um, but for some reason, whatever, uh, you'll be able to see it, it essentially kept giving me the same warning and I just couldn't figure out 
where it was coming from, but I eventually realized it was because the uh, the engine fixes mod I have installed, which a lot of other mods require, had a part two that has to be manually installed. So it wasn't in my mod manager, and I would have had to have... Uh, I'm sure I did before what I did this time, which was I put the uh, zip in the data folder, extracted it, and then deleted the zip. So I also didn't have it in my downloads, which I had checked to see if there were any anything I'd manually downloaded that could remind me like, oh, I, I did that manually. I need to do that again, possibly. But by following, because I just deleted some files, but left others when I reinstalled it. And it did like, for instance, it remembered that I had removed the backwards power attack greatsword animation, uh, which is the, the Mordhau, the, the murder stroke. So it remembered that. <laughs> and uh, so I, obviously I'm unclear about the specifics, but uh, eventually, like I said, I realized I needed to manually install that part two of SSC engine fixes and I did and that was finally uh what made everything work again so it was fun I again got myself really worked up and stressed out and probably could have just done a better job of like stepping away once things got weird and trying to think about it and come back later and maybe it would have been less of a headache but I don't know so you can see here that I uh got the mod working I figured out how to fly you needed a spell the only thing I couldn't get working was that the uh more draconic dragon aspect mod uh edmunds whatever uh says that it's supposed to give you the flying power when you use the third word of dragon aspect or, or gives you the flying power uh, but for some reason it wasn't i was obviously able to just like find the spell and give it to me manually but it was still there like when the shot was over so it would be a matter of me simply just making sure i only use it when i'm using the shout which I, it has the option to do like in combat stuff. I'm I'm not personally going to mess with that. I would I would just use it as like a uh, an OP way to travel around in in the late game. Because if I haven't made clear before, I'm not even going to make a Dragonborn character for a while, and that they will kind of be the exception. Whereas most of my like more mundane and earlier characters will start off you know really weak and be doing very basic things like actual like normal jobs up to like uh, <laughs> animal control. And then, like, escalating through stuff like bandits and stuff until they start becoming powerful enough to warrant more fantastical uh, quests and jobs and stuff. But the Dragonborn character is going to be, he's hes going to essentially become more powerful more quickly. He, um, I haven't decided, like, what kind of backstory he's going to have as far as, like, what he's going to be doing before the events of the main quest. If he does have much backstory before that, it, that, that I, like, actually show on camera, it's it's going to be like fairly mundane there there might be the whole like you know the trope of like oh how did you do that that seemed like you were really strong or like you did something that doesn't make sense or whatever stuff like that little little uh breadcrumbs but uh like once the main quest stuff starts he is going to become more powerful more quickly than any of my other characters to represent the fact that he is essentially a a chosen a demigod the dragonborn heracles if you will oh uh, and wouldn't that be interesting if I actually like equivocated it to to Heracles some and uh, made it so he was like extra strong as a kid, obviously. I mean, that wouldn't be hard to do. I'm just trying to think of how you could like show the dr draconic uh, aspects of his being without it being like obvious. I'll have to think about that. But yeah, so like I said, I got the flying mod work. You know, if I if I can't, I'm going to try to troubleshoot the whole giving me the power when I use the shout thing later. Um but I've already stressed myself up, <laughs> out enough uh, dealing with that, and I want to move on. Because I'm going to have to balance everything at the end anyways. So I'm going to almost certainly have to go back into Blade and Blunt and Valravin and Chocolate Poise and everything else <laughs> and make sure that it lines up with uh, Enemy Releveler and uh, anything else that I might add. I'll try to like put up what I did in the video, but we essentially installed everything and... We were able to chose, choose a different color for our person. So Maroc's dragon aspect should be green and mine should be uh, blue. And like I said, we installed the patch for both of them and everything. So, huh. <laughs> well, I wonder how that happened. Worry about that later. <laughs> there dot teach word. One Delta Fox Trot nine three. Zero one Delta Fox Trot nine three. Okay. Zero four. Hey, cool. Reading directions helps. So this was saying, depending on where it is in your load order, you need to add 04 for the XX. And yeah, it's assuming you have everything. So 04 worked. Okay, so then just replace it with 4 and 5. And then I need player 4 save V Dragon Souls. 
Oh, I do not have 99 Dragon Souls. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> and unlock. Boop. And unlock. Boop. And unlock. Boop. Oh, equip the shout. Alright, so the loading animation looked a little weird, like it changed color or whatever. But, I mean, I got the color I wanted, so assuming Maroc also ends up using this color, which, man, that seems like too much effort for me to, uh, unless I, like, can just spawn him in as an enemy. Will he use it? God, everything looks awful now that I've picked up the files or whatever. I hope I just have to reinstall stuff I've used before. Oh, and look! <laughs> I've still got the, uh, shout timer for where my compass is, even though I've tried to turn that off through various means. Okay, well, there's the gliding feature. 1-800-840-B. Okay. Well, I'm fine. And getting a bunch of gold for some reason? Aside that everything is all buggy and awful looking. <laughs> At least this is working. Oop, there you go. <laughs> Wow, this definitely feels like late game progression for sure. Well, this is neat. I like this a lot. It's working. So, can I land or... Uh oh, nope, don't do that. <laughs> if I just hit, yep, you just hit Z again. Oh, hey. <laughs> and it gave me an amulet? What? Oh, it didn't actually show up. So I don't know what that bug, you know, let's see if uh, it still does that when I turn off. Uh, that's True HUD, I think. Recent loot widget. Okay, yeah, so it's something about the recent loot widget conflicts, which I don't even use. It just looks a little nicer than the vanilla one. Yeah, where's High Rothgard? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, see, I don't think that is the. Because it's supposed to work as part of Draconic As Aspect, is, or, uh, yeah. Huh? See, it just says it's supposed to give me the flying spell, but it didn't. Alright, I didn't add. That's so weird. I mean, I don't see just flying spell as a spell. Probably because it's supposed to be part of the thing, but it's not showing up for some reason. Oh, maybe I'll just reload, actually. have to give myself back the spells again, I imagine. Four CP Dragon Souls. Teach word. Teach word. Teach word. Okay. So I do not currently have any flight power or anything. Myself. Dragon Aspect. Woohoo. Yeah. Now, the only... Thing I'm kind of thinking is if uh, I should have saved before I use the power also because I didn't choose the right one. If the patch isn't working, I guess that's the first thing we should try. Which required we use more draconic aspect faux mod option three. Everything else should be the same. We'll also reload the patch just to be safe. All right, let's try that. This time I'll give myself the spells and stuff and save afterwards. Okay, so that did not do it. I mean, it's not a big deal to just give myself the flight spell and only use it when I am using this. So yeah, I wasn't able to get the uh, Draconic Aspect mod to give me the flying power, but I know how to give my character the flying power. And like I said, I intend just to use it as a uh, OP late game fast travel mechanic. So that'll do it for today. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I will see you next time.